Okay, so this is an update for my 3D printed turbine rotary tool. What's really cool about this build is that it highlights the ability to make working and usable parts on a 3D printer, even a home-built RepRap style printer like mine. So you can see that a majority of the parts that I'm, I'm using were actually 3D printed. All of the green pieces are made of PLA, which is a pretty common thermoplastic used in, in 3D printing. Maybe someday a home-built printer will be able to make metal parts, but for the time being, we're stuck with just plastic, so all the metal parts in this tool have to be machined separately. And here are some close-up shots of the main spindle. I machined this part out of a piece of half-inch stainless steel bar. It has threading on the back for a lock nut, and the threading on the front is actually made to fit a Dremel brand collet nut. So now you can see that I'm assembling the rotary tool. It's a pretty simple design that uses a vacuum cleaner to pull air through a two rotor axial turbine. It's easy to assemble because all the parts are nicely contained inside the shell. Once all the parts are in place, just twist the two halves together and slide in the shaft. The metal pieces that you can see now are aluminum spacers that help to keep the rotors from hitting the sides or rubbing against the bearings while the shaft is spinning. Since the design uses a Dremel collet nut, that means you can use pretty much all of the Dremel accessories. So right now I'm putting in a fiberglass cutting wheel. Okay, now I'm hooking it up to the shop back to turn it on. I'm only using my hand to make a seal right now, but I normally I use tape. In the future I want to make an adapter so that it fits perfectly on the shop back and I don't have to use tape. You can see that it actually works surprisingly well. I printed out a tachometer a while ago and I measured the speed to be about 60,000 revolutions per minute. Even though it spins faster than most Dremels, it doesn't really have that much torque, which can be a bit of a problem sometimes. If you try to cut material too fast, it just hangs up and stops spinning. A design that has a few more rotors might help to decrease the speed and increase the torque a little bit, which seems like it would actually make the tool a little more useful overall. However, it's great as a proof of concept. I've used it to do everything from grinding sheet metal to cutting drywall. With a bit more fine tuning it could become a very useful tool, especially if the shaft could be 3D printed. So that's about it. All in all, I'm happy with how it turned out. It can make its way through a nail in about 30 seconds and it sucks up some of its own dust. If anything ever breaks, just reprint the piece and it can be back up and running in a few hours. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and thanks for watching.